If you enjoy writing, reading, or discussing NBA, head over to our website, thefoulshot.net, where normal fans have a voice. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. And this one, we're going to be rebuilding the 2008-2009 Orlando Magic. Now, let's take a look at the roster here. Now, this is a team that went all the way to the championship in 2009 to lose to the LA Lakers. And to me, when I look at this roster, this is not immediately a team I would think of to make it to the championship. But they didn't. Led by D12. They got Hidu Turkoglu, Jameer Nelson, Rashad Lewis, Marcin Gortat, Ray for Austin, also known as Skip to My Lou, Michael Petras, Courtney Lee, JJ Reddick, Tyrone Lou, Anthony Johnson, and two roster fillers. Now, this is actually a team I put together myself because I looked on the uh, PS4 and the Xbox One, like File Share or 2K Share, whatever you want to call it, and I cannot find a, a full roster of the 2009 season. So, what I did, I created this 2008 2009 Orlando Magic team and put them in present day. So, you see the roster. This is the present day rosters, and hopefully, it makes for entertaining video. Now, when I take a look at teams like this from the past, one thing I usually don't do is like destroy things immediately. Like I try to wait, go a season. If it doesn't work out, then I'll, I'll revamp it in the second season. But no, in this one, we're going right for it. I'm going to be making some big trades to this roster. Of course, D12 is probably safe, but nobody else really is, man. I want to win championship year one. A guy I want to move immediately is Marcin Gortat, 24 years old, pretty solid overall. And I, I feel like he has some pretty good potential. So I want to try to move him. And we take a look at positions. We got a bunch of point guards. This guy, John Brown and John Jones, just roster fillers. But uh, still, even without them, we got a bunch of point guards. We only have one small forward and one power forward. So we need to definitely upgrade those positions. So let me see what I can get for Martian Gortide. Of course, we're going to go Trey Finder because it's like the easiest thing to do in this situation. So Trey Finder it and see what we can get. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, to get another small forward, another power forward, but you never really know. Maybe I can get another point guard or something. You know, nothing is uh, off the off the table right now. So let's see if we can get. Derek Fave is the guy that's always on a trade block. Don't really know why, but I don't want to pick him up in this video. Uh, but nothing else really. So I'm going to try to orchestrate my own trade and I'll be back. All right, man, uh, this looks like a trade we can do. Of course, I said I was looking for a power forward and a small forward, but I'm picking up Hassan Whiteside is a big upgrade for Marcin Gortat. They won a first round pick, 2019 Lakers, whatever. We don't care. We're also picking up Udonis Haslam. And okay, they want a second round pick. They want that roster filler and Tyler Johns. Okay, I mean, that's, that's a better trade for us. They want that roster filler and they're giving us a nice young guy and Tyler Johnson one thing about picking up these two players is they're both on the one-year deal don't know if they're gonna sign back so this is like going all out for year number one it says the side white side is somewhat loyal but we'll see uh, hopefully if we win some games that'll turn into some you know not somewhat loyal but really loyal so what else what else moves do we need to make um, of course like I said small forward and power forward I guess we have a backup power forward now Yadonis Haslam I just kind of wanted a power forward on the roster, another power forward on the roster. Just in case the injury hits or something, we won't have um, somebody out of their position. I, I think we're going to move Skip to Malou. If you don't know, this guy has crazy, crazy handles back in the day. He was in the league for a couple years, but after that, you know, he went back to being and one. That's where he was. Uh, got his name, Skip to Malou. Where is he? Okay, right for Austin. Let's see what we can get for him. I mean, if we can get a backup small forward, that'll be clutch. And then we'll go to free agency and pick up somebody like um, Mario Chalmers to the backup point guard. But I feel like Ray Faustin has some trade value, hopefully. Two stars. Okay, that's not too bad. He has two stars. So what can we get with his two stars? Luol Dang there. This is a nice trade. We're picking up another backup point guard, picking up a small forward. So maybe we'll go back to pick up Nicholas Batum. That may be the trade we're going to do. So I've decided over the past couple videos that I'm no longer trying to rebuild teams to make other people happy. I'm just going to have a bunch of fun rebuilding. So if if, it, if I make some bonehead trades, that's really just me trying to have some fun with this game. Because rebuilding teams has got to the point where it's kind of easy for me. That's also why I upped the sim difficulty and everything to 70. And this video is actually 60 because I haven't been successful in the last couple. But um, it's just been getting pretty easy for me. So I, I want to entertain myself by making it a little more difficult. So that's a trade that we just did to pick up Nicholas Batum to be our backup small forward. So let's take a look at positions down. So we got Jeremy Lin, Jameer Nelson as the two point guards with Tyron Lue. Shout out to Mexico, Missouri, the place he's from, you know, the place he shouted out like 10 times. 
doing the ceremony after they won the championship. Uh, shooting guard position, we got a bunch of solid shooting guards. Nobody great, but a bunch of solid shooting guards. And Michael Petras, JJ Redick, and Tyler Johnson. Small forward position, uh, Hidu Turkoglu, Nicholas Batum, and then power forward is looking all right. And the center's definitely stacked. So I'm feeling good, but not great. Michael Petras, let me try to get a trade for him in this first round. I don't know. Maybe we can upgrade that position too. Like, like I said, man, I'm starting to rebuild teams just to have some fun with myself. Hopefully you guys can respect that. I'm pretty much blowing up a team that went to the championship. Isn't that crazy? But um, let's see what we can get. This trade doesn't look too bad. Picking up Chris Middleton, maybe. Oh, wow. Mike Conley. But we already have two nice point guards. Oh, my God. Kimba? Honestly, I think I'm going to do that Kimba trade and then flip Kimba. I'm going to do that Kemba trade and flip Kemba. Yeah, we're making a bunch of trades in this video just for the fun of it. And we also got rid of the other roster filler, which is a great thing to do. So now Kemba's going to be on the move. Because I do want Jameer Nelson to be our starting point guard at this point. I, I'm pretty sure this year he was an all-star. One of these years he was an all-star. Jameer Nelson. And now he's pretty much fell off the face of the planet. So let's see what we can get for our boy Kemba. Chris Bosh. Oh my god. But I do want, I want a shooting guard though. Can we get a shooting guard somehow? A nice shooting guard. Tyreek Evans, not the guy we're looking for. Eric Bledsoe, not great. Okay, you know what guy that I really want to go out and get? I want to go out and get um, DeMar DeRozan. Can we, can we trade for DeMar DeRozan somehow? So let me throw in Kemba. They think they're a contender or whatever, but let me throw in these picks. Again, we're going all out season one. DeMar DeRozan, no. Okay, let's throw in... Tyler Johnson, he's got one and a half star Trey value. We'll take um, Anthony Bennett off your hands, I guess. They still say no, so I'm going to go out and get another shooting guard. I don't know who it's going to be, but we're going to go get a shooting guard. Okay, so this is a trade I just drew up. I think they're going to accept it, man. Giving up Kemba, a first round of Tyler Johnson for the Greek Freak and Chris Middleton. And they did. Okay, so they accept that one. So Chris Middleton's our new starting shooting guard. We got Giannis come off the bench. And now we got a surplus of small forwards. So, me being me, you guys know we got to trade one of them, man. Again, we're just making trades just for the fun of it. So, Nicholas Batum, I know we made a trade because I thought you were going to be a nice backup. But I think I like the Greek Freak just a little bit more. So, you got to be on the move. And we can pick up Kevin Love, which would be solid. Rudy Gay is there, but that's not a great trade. We're going to make that trade for Kevin Love. Anthony Johnson and uh, Richard Jefferson, who just played so amazing in the in the, uh, in the championship. It surprised me how good he was in the championship. So Richard Jefferson is now the same. Okay, so this is the team we're rolling with for season number one. Hopefully we win the championship because we just threw away all of our picks. So we got Jameer Nelson, Chris Middleton, Hidu Turkoglu, Kevin Love, and D12. And off the bench, we got Hassan Whiteside, the Greek freak, Richard um, uh, Richard Lewis, Jeremy Lin and JJ Raddick. Like the team is looking good. I actually want to keep a 10 man rotation. So I'm going to uh, take those minutes away from Tyler Hansbro. Sorry. But uh, that's what we're rolling with, man. I'm excited about this season. Let me see what they have us ranked. We better have the number one team in the We have the number five team in the league. Okay, I thought our team would be ranked a little bit higher. If you take a look at the roster, man, things look good. We got a bunch of 80 overalls. Like, I just thought this team would be the number one team in the league, but I guess not. No big deal, though. So, what we're going to do, we're going to simulate to the all-star break. Maybe make some more moves depending on what we need or how the record is, and we'll be back. So, the all-star break, we're sitting at 43-9. and nine, So, great things going on. Fan Inch is only 51%, which is ridiculous. I don't know why... A city wouldn't be behind a team doing this good. But let's see who it is for us that's doing the thing, doing the damage. The White Howard's averaging about 20 and 11 with two blocks. Kevin Love's averaging 16. Chris Middleton, 14. So we got a bunch of guys averaging double digits or even close to double digits all the way down the roster. Pretty much everybody that's in the rotation is averaging eight points a game, which is just crazy. We got an injury right there, broken right hand to Rashad Lewis, but he's going to be back in a couple days. So I'm guessing that Dwight Howard is going to be in the All-Star game. I, I would hope so, the way he's been playing, but he's not. He's not even going to be in the All-Star game. No big deal, though. Best team in the league. We don't need an All-Star. We just want that ring, right? We just want that ring. We're only best by a couple games, though. OKC Thunder and the uh, Golden State Warriors are really close on our tail. We're looking at win percentage. But in the Eastern Conference, nobody is even close. 12 and a half games behind are the Indiana Pacers. Not even close to what we're doing. So we're destroying the East, destroying the league in general. 
and we're gonna keep going I don't think we're gonna make any trades my big fear though is that we don't win a championship year one and then Hassan Whiteside walks uh, Giannis is a restricted so he's not gonna walk but Hassan walks Jeremy Lin walks like I'm afraid that those guys leave and um, I guess I'm just gonna have to take that chance right now even if I try to trade him I don't think we're gonna get anything spectacular for him at least that can come in and fill the role he's playing right now so that kind of sucks but only thing I can do is just hope that we win the championship year one and we don't have to worry about him leaving in free agency so we're gonna continue to simulate to the end of the season and we'll be back then in the season number one Kevin Durant wins MVP averaging about a triple double usually it's uh uses Russell Westbrook averaging a triple double but this year was Kevin Durant Carthony Towns will get the year six man goes to Brandon Jennings DeAndre Jordan wins Defensive Player of the Year, CJ McCollum wins Most Improved, and Coach of the Year goes to Billy Donovan. So we didn't even win Coach of the Year. That's disrespectful. Because we finished with the best record in the league, I think. Yeah, we finished with the best record in the league. It's disrespectful that we didn't win Coach of the Year. In anyway, I don't think we have any huge injuries. That's actually a pretty big injury. Jameer Nelson is our starting point guard, but um, we do have Jeremy Lin to back him up. At least out of this first round, he is day-to-day. -day. Hopefully, we can get out of the first round. Going against Toronto, take a look at their team. They have an injury in Cal Lowry, a broken left finger. I wonder, he's probably playing through that though. That's definitely an injury you can play through. And P-Pad is also injured, but it's round number one. We're going against a pretty talented Toronto Raptors team, so anything can happen. Game one is a victory. Game two is two, okay. Game three, we're going for the sweep, and we do complete the sweep. So, okay, maybe not that talented. And Jameer Nelson is back too, so that's great things right there. Um, Dwight Howard is drained of en energy, but it's the playoffs, big man. You got to play through it. Round two, we're going against the Atlanta Hawks. So, I'm guessing the Hawks didn't make anything big, any big moves. Same team, they picked up Anderson Verizal somehow. They picked up Boban Barjanovic, however you pronounce it, I guess. And that's it. So let's see if we can get out of this round. round game one, yes. Are we going to sweep the Eastern Conference? I mean, oh, okay. No, we didn't. I was going to say, because we just destroyed them in the regular season. Maybe we're going to sweep them in the, in the postseason. But no, we didn't. Oh, my God. They almost forced the game seven. But we get it to the Eastern Conference against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And team, we took their number three option. We took um, we took Kevin Love from them and gave them Nicholas Batum. He's actually been playing pretty well for them now. So no, no, uh, no love lost there. They picked up Aaron Gordon because I had to release him in the free agency to make this thing possible. So, but everybody else is still the same. They also have Anthony Johnson because we traded him they, their way. So, game one is a victory for us. LeBron is going to get stopped here. They couldn't stop him in real life, but in 2K, we do stop him. And we're going against the OKC Thunder in the championship. We did see that they picked up um, DeAndre Jordan. I didn't even know I was an Xbox party. I, I hate that that's popping up on your screen right now. They picked up DeAndre Jordan, but the rest of the team is pretty solid. Pretty much the same. John Henson's on the team now, but that's it. That's the only big move. Game one, yes. All right. It looks like it. We may be winning the championship. Okay. Game six. Here it is. Hopefully, we can come out of here with a victory, and we're blowing them out, and we do win the championship. So, I think that's Orlando's first championship as an organization. Jeremy Lin won, yo, Jeremy Lin won's finals MVP. Hold on. What did I miss? I kind of just skipped through all of that. Can we go back to playoffs? We can't go back to the playoffs. Somehow Jeremy Lin won the MVP of the finals. Yo, did he go back to his Nick days? I think that said Jeremy Lin, right? Am I going crazy? This is it not going to tell us? I'm pretty sure... I think you can rewind it, man. Jeremy Lin won finals MVP. He probably went back to his Nick days and just tore everything up. But we did end up winning the championship, so great things from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what team you want me to rebuild next. Any team in NBA history, I can go out and make them or find them on the 2K share. It's been the king of the fourth quarter. Thanks so much for watching.